Hello, I'm Nancy O'Neill. This week on Suncoast FYI, we have Blakely Trentinero and some easy recipes. Banjo Hall of Famer Cynthia Sayre, Dr. Jonathan Greco, and Fleet Clean Service. All next on Suncoast FYI. Thanks for joining us today on Suncoast FYI. I'm Nancy O'Neill. Dr. Jonathan Greco is here to tell us about a revolutionary treatment of osteoarthritis and dealing with joint pain. And welcome to the show, doctor. Great. Thanks, Thank Nancy. Thank you. Can you tell us about the current treatments that are being used um, to yes. deal with this? Um, for example, if you talk about osteoarthritis of the, the knee, mm -hmm. the standard treatments early on in the disease are Tylenol, anti-inflammatories like Motrin, Naproxen, mm -hmm. Advil. Uh, later on as the disease progress progresses, uh, people may need steroid shots like a cortisone shot mm -hmm. to decrease the swelling and inflammation. Um, that, in small amounts, that's okay. Later on, that can be uh, deleterious to the cartilage. Uh, then there's uh, hyaluronic acid shots. Uh, you may have heard of something like Hyalgin shots. Uh, they are somewhat effective in very mild disease. Uh, but, and then later on, um, the other treatments are, are narcotic medications and eventually surgery. Okay. Uh, the important point of all of these treatments are none of them really change the progression of the disease, don't change mm -hmm. the course of the disease. Mm -hmm. People end up, no matter how many times they get treated with these uh, modalities, they end up getting, say, for example, a knee replacement. Okay, and there's probably side effects from taking all these drugs sure. as well. Yes, right? there are many. Uh, then why do doctors use these procedures? Well, it, it's all they have. And they do work, but like anything, there are side effects to, to everything. Sure. Um, and. Part of it is because they're covered by their insurance mm -hmm. um, and they really don't have many other choices. Okay. Well, then you have come up with something. You have come up with a revolutionary treatment that. Um, well, I didn't come up about. with it, but okay. uh, there's uh, a. In the. Uh, from researchers at Brown University have found a protein that's in our own blood. It's called alpha 2 macroglobulin, mm -hmm. or the shorthand is A2M. Okay. Uh, there was a study two years ago uh, in um, arthritis and rheumatology that showed that this, this protein, again, it's in our own blood. Well, if you inject it into the joint, mm -hmm. it will prevent cartilage breakdown, Wonderful. essentially stopping arthritis in its tracks. Okay. So it allows us to build new cartilage. So this is, this is a real game changer. Okay. And unfortunately, not many people know about it. Okay. Not a lot of docs know about okay. it either. And there's pharmaceutical companies right now rushing to develop uh, a man-made form of this. Mm -hmm. um, meanwhile, we already have it in us, okay. and we can use it. And, and when we use our form of uh, platelet-rich plasma called cytokine-rich plasma, we already have A2M in it, and we've actually had it in there for the past eight years. Mm -hmm. So that, again, like I said, this is a game changer. Mm -hmm. This is stopping arthritis so that you can grow your own cartilage. That's awesome. That's awesome. It truly is. So that's what people can expect from this treatment, is that's they're correct. going to get better by using something that they already have within them. Right. And it's natural. It's great. It's made by you mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. Well. I would like to know more about this. Obviously, I'm at that age where things are starting to, uh, you know, cause me a little discomfort here and there. Where can I go to find out more about the services that you offer? Well, our office is right here in town in Sarasota, mm -hmm. right on Main Street. Uh, our website uh, is um, uh, Joint Pain USA, and our phone number is 941-952-3300. Wonderful. Great, thank you so much for being here today. Thanks so much for having today. me. It was great, thank you. Next on Suncoast FYI, we will introduce you to the motto, keep it clean. We'll have details after the break, so stay tuned. Welcome back to Suncoast FYI. I'm Nancy O'Neill. 
Fleet Clean, a family-owned business that has been around for 50 years and provides both residential and commercial pressure washing, among other services. And here to tell us more is Sarasota resident owner Todd Aylesworth. And welcome to the show. Yeah, thank you, Nancy. Thank Thanks you. for having me. Um, I want to find out a little bit about what you do and um, about being in business for 50 years. How did yes. that come about? Well, it's been, uh, it's been a long-standing business, family-owned throughout the years. Mm -hmm. uh, I purchased the business in 2014, and uh, my wife and I are still active in the business every day. We operate in uh, Sarasota, Manatee, and Hillsborough County, and uh, we offer both residential and commercial pressure washing, mm -hmm. and we also offer some brick uh, paver sealing, various options on that. Okay, so that's driveway, paver sealing that you do after... Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. We start our services include uh, cleaning roofs mm -hmm. uh, and then all the way down to the driveway. So we clean the house, the pool cage and deck uh, and all the way down uh, in anything on the exterior of the building. Basically, we can clean whether it be residential or commercial. OK, so how does somebody know that they need your service? I mean, is it do they do they wait until they see something black on their roof, or I mean, how do you, how do you determine when we need, when we someone would need your services? Sure. Glad you asked. Well, obviously, a lot of people do wait until it's uh, until it gets to that point and call us. Mm -hmm. uh, we uh, if that happens, we do come out and you know we can clean a roof. We put mildew preventatives on those roofs uh, to actually keep them clean, and that's. Uh, one of the things we offer, a little different, we call it our Keep It Clean program mm -hmm. that we can offer, uh, you know, after we've re removed all the dirt and mildew, uh, we, we keep the property clean. And I think of it similar to a, a, you don't wait for a pool to be green before you call a pool service, or you don't wait until there's bugs to call the exterminator. So we work with hundreds of uh, local residents mm -hmm. just on a Keep It Clean program where we keep their, we customize it to their property and can keep their property clean year round. Okay, so once you've completed it and um, you come back and do follow-ups, do they call mm -hmm. you or is it a monthly program or? Yeah, it's something we keep track of and obviously each, uh, each person is different on their requirements. Okay. Uh, for the roofs, it's, it's predetermined how often we come, but mm -hmm. as far as the remainder of the uh, property, we can customize that to their requirements. We keep track of that inside our business, mm -hmm. and then we simply notify them that it's time for that service to recur. Okay. And we've had uh, we've had really uh, great luck with that, or great success with that. Mm -hmm. um, we've had uh, we've grown over the last year great. considerably, and great. we're looking for. Uh, kind of more technicians at this point to okay. uh, continue to keep our growth All right, going, so, so so you're looking for people. Should anybody want exactly. a job yes. helping please, you? Uh, please okay. do contact us for that. And we'll, we are, we'll get that information in just a minute. Okay. Um, what other services do you offer, though, that people might come to you for other sure. than just cleaning? Uh, paver sealing is one of the primary things. So okay. many homes uh, have these beautiful brick pavers installed yep. early in the you know, when the home is built. Mm -hmm. And over time, they become dull. Uh, obviously, the mildew and, and things are on them as well. So right. we first remove the mildew, and then we offer three different ceiling variations to really bring okay. the vibrance back to okay. the properties. So a question people may, may be curious about, why is it better to have you come out as opposed to um, say myself going out and getting a pressure washer and sure. doing it on my own. Sure. Well, it, it, sometimes it makes for a fun weekend if you do it uh, yourself. Yeah. But obviously, uh, you know, first and foremost is the quality of the job that mm -hmm. we can do. And, um, you know, we obviously have a long reputation. Staying in business for this right. long, uh, you have to offer quality. And we also offer satisfaction guaranteed. Awesome for you but beyond that and this is uh, you know I think an important point is uh, we offer insurances both uh, from a general liability standpoint as well as okay. uh, workers comp Great. and that's important that's to have. That's very important yes. to have so, yes you want other... somebody that's insured yeah. and registered yeah. and licensed. So everybody's um, protected including the homeowner. Wonderful. So where can people go to find out more about your services and if they're interested in um, becoming part of your fleet? Okay. Well, obviously our uh, website is www.fleetcleanservice.com 
and our phone number 941-723-0086. If, uh, if it happened to be, viewers happen to be part of an HOA mm -hmm. board or a community association board or a property manager, they can visit us at CA Day, uh, which is hosted by the community association on, uh, on March 10th. March and 10th. we're at booth 315. So we look forward to seeing okay. anyone there as well. Okay, so March 15th coming up, March March 10th. 10th, yes, okay. booth 315. Coming yes. up, you'll be at booth 315, so people can come and chat with you and get more information. Yes. Great. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Well, thank and you. I've enjoyed good it. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. And coming up on Suncoast FYI, cooking around the world. So stay tuned, and we'll be right back. <music> Welcome back to Suncoast FYI. I'm Nancy O'Neill. Wouldn't you like to travel around the world cooking and looking for recipes? Blakely Trentinero is here to tell us more about her traveling research. So welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Yeah. Now you have quite an interesting name for your business. Can Absolutely. you tell us about that and how you sure. came up with it? It's called Cooking for Bimbos. Okay. Yes, so actually my dad created it for me. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be fun, you know, kind of like a cooking for dummies. But it's supposed to be fun. Not, not people take it serious, but it's it's all in good fun. Okay. Well, cooking should be fun, right? right? Exactly. Okay. Um, so you have an interesting concept. I know you went to culinary school, mm -hmm. and that's where it all started. Yes. Um, so you say that people eat with their eyes. Absolutely. So where does that all come from? I know we like the way t things taste, mm -hmm. but tell us more about... Well, I'm a very visual person, mm -hmm. and I know if I see something that looks good, mm -hmm. I'm going to eat it. Something that doesn't look good, yes. I probably won't eat okay. it, even well, if it tastes good. Look at this sandwich. Yes. So I just wow. made a nice pressed wow. layer sandwich here. And see how pretty it is, the different colors and textures. It's, and it's delicious. And it smells yummy. I know you can't <laughs> tell that, but it smells yeah. yummy. Um, where did this recipe come from? And tell us what's in it, because okay. it just looks so good. It's kind of an Italian-inspired sandwich. So I have a nice ciabatta loaf here. I just kind of took out the insides, the soft insides. I did a little balsamic on it, some pesto, some goat cheese. Then I did some salami, some prosciutto. I have roasted red peppers, mm. some artichokes, some spinach. I mean, you can't go wrong, right? No, you can't. You I, can't. I'm sure. Can we sample it after the Absolutely. show? Absolutely. You okay. can eat the This is for well, you. Awesome. This Good. whole one here. Okay. <laughs> so now you say that anyone can make these dishes. Yes. Where can we go to find out more about how we can do that? Absolutely. You go to cookingforbimbos.com. Okay. And then this is actually on my website as well. Okay. So every recipe has a video on my website, which is great because kind of dumbs it down for you. The Cooking for Bimbos aspect, you know, you have to eat see what you're doing in order right. to prepare something that right. looks good. So you can follow along right. as you're going through the yeah. process. And it's online, so it's not on TV, so you can pause it, you know, you have the full directions there. It's, it's great. Great. Yeah. Wonderful. So tell me, how does traveling to different countries make you a better chef? Well, I think when you travel, it opens your eyes to different ingredients that you would never hear about. So I really like going over there and seeing these different recipes and ingredients and trying to make them my own here. That's that's really fun to do. Okay. So when when you go to, say, Italy, mm -hmm. um, do you go into different restaurants and try to discern what's in their recipe and yeah. then make it your own? Or Exactly. Go in there, see what's in there, talk to the chef. I love going to local markets, tasting everything, mm -hmm. seeing what I can get my hands on around home and go from there. Because that must be challenging it too. It is, yeah. So, okay. you know, and things taste different over in different countries. Sure. But you try make something that tastes well, good. I can't wait to try <laughs> that. Now, if people want to find out um, more, mm -hmm. I know you have a new website I you're do. also launching. Yes. Can you tell us about that? It's called Hungry for Travels, actually. So it's a, it's purely travel. I'll do city guides, I'll do videos. So it's mm -hmm. really fun. I've been working on it for like, six months now so I'm really excited about it. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful. Well that Thank I'm you. looking forward to it. Coming up on Suncoast FYI, Cynthia Sayre, jazz banjoist and vocalist. So stay tuned. Welcome back to Suncoast FYI. I'm Nancy O'Neill. 
She was inducted into the Banjo Hall of Fame and has played for two U.S. presidents. And here to tell us about her upcoming show is Cynthia Sayre. And I'd like to welcome you to the show today. I'm delighted to be here. Thank, Thank you, you very much. So normally we associate the banjo with bluegrass. Yes. But I understand that you play a jazz I play jazz, jazz banjo. banjo. That's right. And the bluegrass banjo um, actually is a slightly different instrument. It has five strings and uh, finger pick. You know, that kind okay. of thing. There's claw hammer style also. And I use a flat pick okay. and uh, play it kind of like you'd play a jazz guitar. Want a little sample? Yes, please, right. please. Here. Yes, we'd love it. How about this? Uh, them their eyes. <laughs> Now, I know that you're going to be performing here locally, but before we get to that, mm -hmm. I wanted to ask you about the uh, trip you recently took to China. You were there uh, for over three weeks. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Well, that was my first time uh, to go to China. I, I have the great privilege of being able to tour internationally, but there I had never been before. And uh, we had the best time. It was amazing. And one of the really interesting things for me and my band was that most of the uh, venues where we played, we, we mostly did concerts and we did some community outreach. And uh, it was, these people had never heard uh, this music, early jazz, which mm -hmm. is what I specialize in, mm -hmm. music from the 1920s and 30s, and that's what the program will be focused on uh, at the Glen Ridge as well. Okay. Uh, and um, it was really, their reaction <laughs> was, was wonderful. Wow. And it was very uh, inspiring. And of course, we enjoyed being tourists there and, and, and all of that too. And, and it was great. Great food. I love the food. Good. Good. <laughs> but, uh, but jazz, I, it was such a... It, it was one of those things where the power of music reaches everyone. And mm -hmm. of course, I, I mean, I did not speak that language. We had mm -hmm. a translator with us, but no matter where we were and what we did, the music just spoke for itself. I had the, was wor with wonderful musicians, one of whom will actually be with me at the Glen Ridge as well, okay. uh, the drummer and uh, Larry Eagle. And okay. uh, it, was, it was great. Awesome. Awesome. Well, welcome back. But now we're Thank glad you. you're here. And we'd oh, like yes. to hear about your show that you'll be doing at the Glen Ridge Performing Arts Center. Yes. Um, this Saturday night, and um, I'll have a quartet. I've, I've played there with trios in the past, and this time I'm bringing Larry from New York, uh, the, the guy I mentioned uh, who was in uh, China with us. I'll also, uh, that's Larry Eagle, he's amazing, amazing. Uh, Terry Myers uh, from the Orlando, Florida area, who also is the leader of the Tommy Dorsey band there. And uh, Mark Neuenschwander on string bass. Uh, who uh, is a top player. Mm -hmm. uh, Terry is a reed player, He'll, a multi-instrumentalist, and it's, it's gonna be great. And I haven't met Terry before. I only know him by reputation, and that's one of the fun things about jazz. Yes. Uh, I look forward to it, there's no problems, we just know we can play together, yeah. and that's it, yeah. you just do it. You just get up there and do <laughs> you it. You just get right? up there and oh. do it, that's right. That's awesome, yeah. that's awesome. So, so where can we go to find out more information about your performance on Saturday? Well, there's only a few tickets left, oh. uh, but uh, and uh, you can purchase tickets by um, by going online to uh, gpactix.com. But I recommend you call the box office because um, I think that's an easier way. Uh, they will set up some additional chairs, and there are some tickets left. They're just limited number left, and so I think you'll fare better if you if you call the box office, okay. and uh, they'll they'll get some more seats in there. Great, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Great. Great. Right. Well, thank you. Can you play us out um, a little bit more before um, we leave? Sure, sure. Okay. Let's see. Um, how about this? Um. That's our show today, and thanks so much for joining us. If you would like to promote your business or event on Suncoast FYI, we would love to hear from you. 
So just call our sales department at 941-361-4239. I'm Nancy O'Neill, and I'll see you next Friday on Suncoast FYI.